I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, Zinner syndrome. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 30-year-old male presenting with left groin pain and intermittent scrotal pain. On CT, we see a single right kidney with an empty left renal fossa. There's also a homogeneous left-sided retrovesical seminal vesicle cyst compressing the urinary bladder and protruding into it. On MRI, we again see a large, sharply demarcated cystic mass with high signal intensity on both T1 and T2 weighted imaging. It's markedly compressing the postero-inferior aspect of the urinary bladder. From its posterolateral aspect emerged two tubular structures, identified as an obstructed left ejaculatory duct and the other an ectopic ureter. The patient complained of nonspecific symptoms, the most common presentation. Patients with Zinner syndrome show a triad comprising of unilateral renal agenesis, ipsilateral seminal vesicle cyst, and ejaculatory duct obstruction. A differential diagnosis such as prostatic utricle cysts or acquired seminal vesicle cysts could be ruled out based on imaging findings and patient history. Characteristic radiological appearance of Zinner syndrome is sufficient for the radiologist to arrive at an accurate diagnosis.